Tesla CEO Elon Musk is the subject of a new controversy after he appeared to smoke marijuana during a podcast interview. Musk was a guest on the Joe Rogan Experience Thursday. And on Friday, Tesla's stock also took a hit, plunging more than 6% to $263 per share. Meg Oliver has more on Tesla's ongoing struggles. Meg, good morning. Good morning. Rogan's interview with Musk was in California, where recreational marijuana use is legal. But this is one of many PR troubles for Elon Musk and Tesla. The company's debt was downgraded to junk status in March by Moody's Investor Service. Musk even joked the company was bankrupt in a tweet on April Fool's Day. It all makes you wonder if Tesla could go up in smoke. Uh, Just tobacco and marijuana in there. That's all it is. Smoking what podcast host Joe Rogan said was a marijuana and tobacco For joint China. is just the newest controversy for I Elon know. Musk, whose Tesla company is mired in a federal investigation and faces shareholder lawsuits. That's after Musk tweeted he was considering taking the company private last month, a move that boosted Tesla's stock prices at the time. CBS This Morning co-anchor Gail King spoke with Musk in April. I'm definitely under stress, so if I seem like I'm not under stress, then I want to be clear, I'm definitely under stress. He said Tesla was going through production hell, but he felt positive about its future. I'm feeling pretty optimistic about where Tesla is at this point. I can have a clear understanding of the path out of hell. But the feeling may not be mutual. Tesla lost more than $700 million in the second quarter this year. And after Musk's appearance on the Joe Rogan experience, Tesla's stock plunged before closing at its lowest price since March 2017. Dr. Howard Combs is a professor at the San Jose State Lucas College of Business. He said Musk's behavior could smoke out more investors. But if they believe you've lost the magic touch and you really are kind of stumbling out of the gate now, and not really sure where you're going, they will punish you and punish you severely. Tesla also saw a string of high-profile departures this week. On Friday, its chief accounting officer, David Morton, left after working there for just one month. Max Chafkin covers average, technology you know, for Bloomberg Business Week. Last month, he told us Musk was becoming a distraction from the work Tesla does. He's always been, you know, somebody who works very hard, but, but it really feels like he's reached, you know, some kind of you know, breaking point. Tesla has only a few weeks left to deliver on Musk's promise that the company would post sustained profits during the third quarter. In an interview with the New York Times last month, Musk said, quote, this past year has been the most difficult and painful year of my career. It was excruciating. It's always a make stockholders uncomfortable when the CEO is telling you he's under a lot of stress. Right, and the chief accounting officer resigning yeah. after a month. Right, yeah. and I remember Max saying earlier that they were they were just worried. His family was just worried about him. That's never a good sign. Yeah, no, no it's all. not. All right, Meg Oliver, thanks, Meg.